people were not kidding about this foundation ha huh? everybody liked this product so much for some reason right Hello, hi you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Akanksha. So in today's video, you read the title already. We are going to try some of the makeup you guys asked me uh, to buy. So I put a questionnaire on Instagram asking your ride and die like favorite favorite products which you definitely want me to try. And I picked up a few while I was leaving the US. So before we get into the video, just a disclaimer, especially because these are your ride and die products. If in case I do not like them it does not mean i just want to be against them i'm going to keep an open mind and try everything whenever i'm reviewing stuff whatever sometimes might be my right and i might not suit you what might suit you might not suit me so just putting that out there and i have like a bunch of stuff i really want to try these are like over hyped up and a lot of people rave about it i've even seen youtubers talk about this so it's like a mixed of you know something you guys picked something i saw online which are super hyped and i really really wanted to try so Yeah, let's dive into some makeup. Yeah. Oh, if you're wondering, like I just uh, dyed my hair. Just the front part, like the back part, is not there. I wore a sweatshirt, wearing my pajamas. Can you see? I can't lift my leg. But this one, I want to open my curls. Like once I'm done with makeup, that's the reason I wanted to talk about the curls. So the first product we have, this is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Now I've tried this one before. I used to have a mini of this, and I do really enjoy it. And I always wanted to get it. I remember I liked it, but I don't remember like the texture, etc. And I, this one is still like very, very hyped. So I thought I'll try this. Like this is the texture. It's like very gel-like. Yeah, now I remember it's a tacky, like kind of you know the makeup sticks on really well because it is a little you know sticky and this bottle is huge too. That's what she said. That's my joke. Damn it, Dwight. But I think it lasts for forever. This is like forty five ml, and I just had to like use like a pump. Definitely very tacky. Can you see that? See, kind of helps the foundation stick well. Now I remember why it was nice. The next one we have is, uh, oh my god! I don't think there is anybody who likes Fenty who has not talked about this product. I always, always wanted to try this as well, but I just never got myself to because I was always like worried about the shade. But now that I was there, like in the counter where I could see, touch, see the color, I was like, let me grab one. This is the Fenty Cream Contour, and this is in the shade Macchiato Zero Three. So when I looked at this on like in the store, kind of felt like it would not be enough for a bronzer. But now I feel like I made the right decision. Like if I put it side to side, if I see myself in the mirror and the camera, I'll go shade darker. But the number four was way too dark, and I was like, it's going to be too harsh for my skin tone. So I think it's a good decision. I went with this one. I'm using this a Morphe G31 brush. So I thought expected it to be actually a little more warm, but do you see it's very neutral. But it is very creamy though. Like look at the way I don't have to do anything, and the shade is so nice. It's kind of blending off into my skin. The shade is not actually that dark, so I probably can go over foundation with this one like especially when i'm using dark contour i kind of do it before. So i thought it'll be like that, but if i put foundation on top of it, i don't think it'll show. Matches my nose and forehead like exactly because my nose and my forehead tend to be a little darker than my rest of the face. So next, moving on to foundation. I used to get the weirdest questions for this foundation. Okay, if you're like, it literally became like a mathematical question, like permutation and combination. If this is the shade of my foundation and this and this and this, then what do you think my foundation shade is in this? Because a lot of people want to get it, and we don't get this in India. So, anyways, this is the NARS uh, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, and I'm in the shade Aruba. So I kind of swatched my like existing shades, and then I compared it with that, and this seemed like the closest match. The next one after this also kind of seemed like a match, but I felt like it might be a tad bit warmer. So I went in with Aruba, and hopefully it's a good match. I've seen so many people, especially Jacqueline, he'll talk about this so many times, and so many of you guys also wanted to like you know know my thoughts on this. So I. Got this one. I'm just pumping it out. God, please be the right match. Is it? I think so. 
I'm going to tap, tap, tap. Yep, that is a good match. We did a good job. So from now on, if you want to know my shade, because previously I did not, this is a Ruba from NARS. If you are a Fenty 310, NC40 MAC, if you are a Huda Beauty Trail Liche, then that's your shade. Maybelline Fit Me 310, that's the shade you go for. People were not kidding about this foundation, huh? The initial finish, oh my god, can you look at my skin? Look at that finish, bro. At this moment, I still cannot judge, but I expected this to be a lot more like luminous and dewy for some reason because it said like uh, naturally radiant, right? So whenever you say like radiant, they're more like dewy and stuff. And I have oily skin, normal combination oily skin types. It got just blended into my skin so easily. Did you see that? I just like went to it. One, two, three, four, and that was done. The pores are so minimized. So that is definitely the uh, primer, like the finish and everything. I think it's a beautiful combination of both. It's been a while that my foundation base looked this good. Oh my God. I really like the, you know, shade because it's not too warm, not too yellow. Usually when it comes to deeper skin and the more deeper you get, it tends to be more yellow or more orange. But I love the fact that it was so like neutral. Like on my hand, you can see it's a very proper shade wow next for concealer i have the juvia's uh, what is this number 15 concealer this is there's no proper name on this kind of removed all the packaging of this because i was supposed to get it from my life's coming so i don't know the exact name this is the juvia's concealer this is the only concealer they have i believe so this is the one and this is in the shade 15 now this shade was something i bought it in a way that i can use it like for everyday use not just for under eye highlighting let's just see that if it's like too too dark for the under eye then i'll probably put something else yeah, I think that's a good enough shade. It's not like too brightening, of course, but I don't think it'll like, you know, darken it more. That <laughs> makes make sense. I'm just going to blend off immediately because I don't know how this concealer works. So I don't want to like dry it down. And then if it does not blend, it will not look good. Okay, super easy to blend. Proper coverage. I don't think I need to add more, but I think I will because... I'm like extra like that, but moving on to blush. Again, so, 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 so raved about. And this is something since it launched, a lot of people really liked that entire uh, brand. And it is Selena Gomez Raise, Raise <laughs> Rare Beauty. This is their Rare Beauty blush in the shade Joy. I actually thought Joy is pink for some reason because like pink was there in the display in joy and i swatched them like really nice then i picked pink and then i came home and i saw that joy is actually warm shade this is not something i usually tend to go for so i wanted something which is a little pinky you know nude pink types so i got three of these uh blushes because uh, three of my other friends also wanted it i got the round one as well then i understood that a lot of people really like this blush so let's go ahead and try this one out i know it is pigmented because i did swatch it in the store so I'm just going to add a little bit. I mean, again, everybody liked this product so much for some reason, right? The color is so damn pretty, man. I think that's why a lot of Indians liked it. I mean, look at that shade on the skin. Okay, so for powder, I want to go in and use my regular Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder because I use a lot of products on my face and I don't want to use a new powder, which I do have. I don't know how that performs. So if that powder does not perform well, like the entire face might go wrong. So I'm just going to go in and use the translucent one. I got a new one, basically opening a new fresh baby because the old one is done and dusted. This is my third. And this powder, dude, I do my makeup so many times and it lasted me for so long. This is like since the three years, this is my third one, you know? So it lasts like easily a year and I really like this one. Next, uh, I'm going to add a little bit more bronzer and this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. Firstly, it smells so good, you guys. It smells like candy. 
look at that it's it looks very beautiful one thing i really like about too faced is it's one of those luxury brands when you touch it you feel like it's luxe you know like it just gives you that luxury feel there's a palette i'm going to use after this uh, but anyways this is the bronzer now i did not buy this uh, but i don't have any other bronzer and i wanted to try this one so i thought like why not it's a new product and it's a matte bronzer if it's like shimmery or something i wouldn't put it on but it is matte it literally smells like chocolate dude the powder is dusting and going inside my mouth and it kind of stays sweet don't eat your makeup then the next one again oh my god so many people so many people are like do you don't try this i'm going to kill you i'm like please don't kill me i shall try this this is the colourpop super shock cheek matte and this is in the shade count me in so again a nice warm bronzer i think it kind of like you know suits the tone a little bit you know for both of these so i can top it off so this is count me in i will go ahead and try that on my face man of these are transferring onto the brush like that easily it's taking a tiny bit of time i don't know about this blush i like my makeup until i put this on and now i feel like it kind of lifted everything I don't know why I had a lot of expectations with this because again I saw a lot of people loving them. So many of you also loved it. So not satisfied that much. I'm disappointed in you, Colonel. Ah! Moving on to concealer, we have another same concealer from Super Shock Cheek in Lunch Money. Let me just open it again. A very champagne highlighter kind of shade. All the highlighters I use are kind of the same shade. I mean, I don't experiment with highlighter colors because honestly, whatever suits you only suits you. You can't try like lavender or <laughs> different kinds. But I don't because it does not suit me. And this is something I always go for. So this is the, um, what do you say? Lunch money. So this is champagne gold kind of shade. Before that, let's just set the face a little bit. <laughs> Okay, moving on to brows. For brows, I have this uh, Patrick Tars uh, Shaping Wax. So this is how it is. So I was recommended two things. Uh, one is this and one is the Anastasia Brow Freeze that you wanted me to uh, try. But this, uh, like the Sephora lady, the girl, the person who works there, uh, the brow freeze was out. So basically she said this is a lot better for thicker brows and because i have thicker brows she said this will work better for me whereas the anastasia one is a lot better for people who have thin brows so i'm going in with my setting spray i'm going to like spritz on it and activate it so i don't know like if you have thick brows i don't see these brow um wax doing like anything because i already have like you know if you have thin brows you kind of like uh put this they kind of make your brows a lot more broader but i already have broad brows and like, like imagine like i'm doing this i mean if i do want like do a look where i like spread them out it's fine but for my brows like they're not even going up though i can't believe i wasted like $20 or something on this. Yeah, I don't know. I probably should like try using this before I do my base so that I can play around with it more and see how I can make it work for me and like how I would like to use it because now if I do anything, it's like my foundation kind of like moves and anyways, uh, moving on to eyes now. For eyeshadow, nobody like recommended really nice, which I also felt like intrigued to buy. I'm literally telling you, I did not buy one eyeshadow palette in the US because nothing seemed interesting. I feel, I feel like it kind of, I feel, I feel like it kind of became a little oversaturated, like that everywhere like you know same kind of eyeshadows i mean what different can you do at this point and i do have like everything i almost need so it did not interest me but recently i got this one again this is what made me feel like oh my god like a luxury palette is a luxury palette at least just for the feels of it i mean these are something you kind of gift and treat yourself it's not unnecessary you get the same quality shadow even in drugstore so this is the two-faced teddy bear eyeshadow palette and dude look at those colors 
look at this guy this is literally like me for every day i mean these are the colors i just use every single for like a everyday look and it is so beautiful if you're somebody who's into minimal makeup and all you do is like for office and every day you can like definitely take this one it just feels so luxe as well the palette is so cute it said steady bear so i'm just going to use this on the i have been using this a lot lately and i really like this one i love the way it blends i love the shades it has so one eternity later i have one last product i want to try before i like you know do mascara and lipstick this is the elegal what is this perfect precision eyeliner and this is in the shade white white is like really nice to open up your eyes especially if you have small eyes you can get a white liner you see how like they just oof, open up the eyes so much okay let's finish off the rest and be back So yeah, guys, that is it. That is the finished look. I really like how it looks. I tried to match the lip with my sweatshirt, the lip liner. Kind of thinks it matches and looks nice. What do you guys think? It is uh, uh, around five o'clock now. It's five three p.m. So I'm going to wear this makeup for a few more hours. It's already been like one hour that I put it on, and uh, give you guys my final thoughts. I have a lot more to shoot, so I'm going to be in between lights, etc. So let's see how that goes. I'll see you in a few hours. Okay, so we are back and it is, uh, so it is 8.45, so it's almost 9 o'clock, I put the foundation on at like 3.34, so it's been like 4 to 5 hours in and this is my final check-in. First elephant in the room, I added some rhinestones because I was filming some another video and also I changed the lip a little bit because for that video, but anyways, like the lip was not something we were testing out and I just added rhinestones. I did not change anything else in the eyes. So let's quickly go through the products I've used and I'll give you my final thoughts. So the first one we've used, the Milk Primer, absolutely love it. I think the foundation is good by itself, but I feel this primer also helped it improve it a lot more. I do definitely have to try this with more other foundations to see but it was so tacky that made that meant like you know it kind of sticks the foundation really well i've used this before like i told and i really uh, like this one then the next one i have is the nars foundation oh my god i'm impressed so i did get a little oily around this area i expected it to get more dewy and more oily because again it says radiant but like this is surprising it's been four five hours I, I am like yes sitting in the ac all the time but still i expected it to get more and this is how i get oily four five hours down the lane even if i'm using like any other foundation finish of it is so 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 good i would have been so disappointed if it got really really oily because that would have meant like i can't use it very often but uh, i can just use like a little more mattifying primer or powder under the foundation and this uh, i can definitely see wearing it more and more i can definitely tell it's one of my new favorite foundation there are no smile lines there are no creases nothing collected anywhere so this i mean i i definitely think this is worth the hype i love the finish do like look at my skin especially if you have dry skin i think this will be your holy grail the fenty cream bronzer so this one i have to try a little bit more the shade i'm not so sure about i have to try it on other foundation but by itself it ended beautifully you can see on my forehead there's still that color or bronzer there i changed my top thrice so it's still there that means a lot because the forehead usually gets rubbed off when you change your clothes right but it's still there and it did a fabulous job it blended really well the shade is something that's it again i'm skeptical about the rare beauty blush i absolutely love it i really love the color i think it's very very flattering to uh, my skin tone or any of the indian skin tones like the perfect balance it looks very like warm or coral peach so i thought i'll not like it but once it blends into the skin it's a very like it's like a blush which i naturally have so i really like this color this is the shade joy and i think it did a really fab job next um we used this is patrick tars brow i'm not really sure how much it is useful for me again because i have thick brows a little bit of brown mascara to just set my brows more than enough for me like maybe if you do have like really thin brows then this would be a great um alternative but again i did not try it on thin brows so i can't really um tell if how it works like if it works well or not so 
this is like a pass for me it's the two faced bronzer so this again in the pan it looks so nice and chocolatey and warm uh, but i love the way it smells it's not something i really really like it's it's an okay like i don't see myself spending so much for a bronzer you know like i like my hula better it's also the same price range but i like that better so if something performs better than that i would use it but this is not something i think i like the packaging is cute the smell is nice but not the best bronzer according to me then again uh, next one we used is the colourpop uh, super shock cheek one again this i had such high hopes for but i am disappointed i did not really like see it was not even getting on to the brush so i'm not getting on to the face i've used blushes which are very like buildable you have to keep on building for it to be there so i tried to build this a lot uh, but i did not see anything on the face and because i was constantly like picking it up and building 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 like it kind of felt like you know i you know started moving around product because i was doing like so much back and forth so this is not a great like yay for me it's like I mean, if I don't have any other blush, then I will use this one. Then coming to highlighter, then Super Shock, yes, the blush I didn't like, but the highlighter is really nice. It just blends into the skin. You can see how beautiful that glow is. Um, it did not like you know exaggerate my texture. Just blended into the skin and gave me a beautiful highlight like I need. It's not a one of those glittery like heavy ones which sit on the skin. So I think they are definitely worth it. Then next we used. So this is. not a review one but this eye shadow palette is so cute and i really liked it you must have seen how easy it was to blend like one to three strokes and we were done i think for concealer i have a new favorite as well i don't um, uh, think i will use it like when i want to like do a full glam like generally when i do this much glam i usually tend to like use a little bit more brighter under eye concealer is just like Uh, it's that glam effect, especially for like camera and all. It looks really uh, nice. So if I'm doing like for Instagram looks or very colorful looks, then I would not use this one just because of the shade. But I would definitely use this one for my everyday makeup because the shade matches me so well. It's super nice in coverage and it does not like you know. Uh, build up again, crack anywhere. It's lying beautifully. I use my Laura Mercier, so for like entire thing, I know each product by itself because I know how my powder uh, performs. Then the last one we used is this LA Girl uh, White Eye Liner, and I'm surprised like four or five hours later. Also because I've used white pencils and nothing like stayed four or five hours later, even looking still so bright. So I really um, do like this one as well, and I think that sums up. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And today's shout out goes to Akanska. It's so similar to my name, but it's still different. It's Akanska. Uh, thank you so much for always loving and supporting. It absolutely means the world to me. I just realized I was not wearing the chain in the outro because I didn't want it to matter for some other video. But anyway, um, thank you so much, Akanska. If you do also want to be part of the next video shout out, then all you have to do is comment below and use the hashtag AKS, and you might be a Hard and thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, then make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the thumbs button. Let me know what videos you want to see, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.